Hi there, this is Flavio again. Freaking forgot to save my recording, son of a bitch. Um, this is my review on Batman Aqua Knight. I felt very disappointed. There was a few glitches and stuff like that. Um, there was the freaking main guy. The um, there was a guy that was dead but came back, and he was in the past three games. Uh, felt disappointed on that one. Felt disappointed on the bosses. There wasn't enough bosses. There was maybe like three, maybe. Um, the only boss. I enjoy the most was the Riddler, tro the the Riddler because he was actually pretty fucking good and shit. Uh, the some other crap. Uh, there was um Riddler for kind of disappointing because you were going through another mission, through another mission, through another mission. So saying like, oh, you have to require this much Riddler trophies to freaking go through this place and go through this other place. It wasn't kind of like that. And I was like, what the hell though? And by the end. It butts you in the ass and say that, oh, you had to collect all my Riddler trophies to beat me in my final boss stage and shit. I was like, you fucking kidding me, you son of a bitch. And, uh, uh, there was Deathstroke, so I'm just spoiling it for you right now. <laughs> it was like, my bad. Um, so there was Deathstroke, but you fight him in a tank. Like, what the fuck, man? I was hoping for, like, a one-on-one, -on -one, so I was kind of like, okay, you fight him in the tank, and then you fight one-on-one. -on -one. No, nope, you freaking fell off conscious. I said, you fucking serious. Uh, felt disappointed on that one too. I felt disappointed on bosses. I felt disappointed on the person that came back alive. Basically, I'm very disappointed. Even when, even if you played the past freaking Batman games, and to tell you the truth, I think Batman Arkham Origins is a lot more better. And that was pretty much saying that Batman Arkham Origins had too much bugs and shit, but it still was good for a goddamn console. And um. There's some other crap as well though, but I mean, but, I mean, I can say it was better. I can say it was way more better than, than freaking Arkham Knight. I mean, I, I have a fucking Arkham City for my goddamn plus membership. Uh, I could just join back in and stuff like that. But, um, in the game, you're mostly in the Batmobile fighting, th fighting tanks and blowing up mines and, and gets, well, I mean, it doesn't get annoying. It's pretty fun to do it once in a while, so you don't do it like in a row and shit, because it's not required for you to do it in a row. Um, so, I don't know, like, 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 I mean, I played it for a couple days, and I was keep on playing it, keep on playing it, and then it really felt like the Batman, it didn't feel like the Batman game, basically. It didn't, it didn't, it didn't feel like, 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 oh, this is the Batman for you to play, because it's like the ultimate experience, it's like, not really, because... Batman was still being a goddamn jerk against Robin, Nightwing, and stuff. They were like, oh, you should go back over there. Oh, you should stay here for the antidote and shit. Uh, I was like, what the hell, Batman? They're trying to help you out, make it easier on you, and fight fucking Scarecrow while you're fighting the Dark Knight as well. I mean, if for, for a fucking psychic, it's, 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 then that's what it's for. A psychic is for you to have as a backup and shit. I mean, come on. If you want to be the Batman, you have to have a psychic with you on this fucking game at least. I mean, you can't just do an assignment mission. I mean, just because you lost Jason Todd, which in... Oh, spoiler here, though, the freaking... The person that came back alive is kind of teasing you on the desk and then... Uh, Oracle's wheelchair. Oh, and also the rated M, the rated M wheelchair thing. It didn't really feel like rated M. I mean, like, like, like there was one point where where this one character was gonna die and stuff like that, but you didn't see. I want to spoil this. Her die basically, and um, it didn't really felt rated M. It felt more like rated T, as always. Like, 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 like rated T for team. It didn't really felt rated M because it was I mean, blood doesn't really matter though. But it wasn't that cruel for for someone to see basically it wasn't cruel for like um uh gonna spoil this for you again uh jason todd uh having the joker mark on his face um uh, wasn't cruel basically uh if it was gonna be written in it should have been like i don't know more cruel broken bones uh something like that just because you see batman kicking ass and using weapons all over the damn map does not mean it's written in for mature there's different things as well but for game for game stuff it's a seven seven, I'll probably give it a seven as well, but I'm gonna give it a seven and a half for that stuff. And uh I'll probably see you guys later. I don't know. Um felt pretty disappointed. Uh 
and there, and there was a shit of, of uh, easter eggs maybe 20 and then uh, I'll see you guys later and